Creating an SMTP relay in Office 365 isn't difficult, but it does require several steps. After logging into your Office 365 Admin Center, click on Setup, Domains. From your list of domains, click on the domain you want to work with. On the DNS screen that comes up, you'll want to copy the MX record under the points to address value. This is the SMTP server that you will be using in your devices later. Next, go to Admin Centers, Exchange. Under the Mail Flow section, click on Connectors. Click on the plus sign to create a new connector. For the mail flow scenario, you'll want to set from as your organization's email server, because the copier or other device has an email server and it's in your organization. For the to section, you'll want to click Office 365 because you want the device to be able to send to Office 365. Click on next when done. Now it's time to give it a name. I recommend something descriptive so you'll know what this is for. You can also add a description if you need more detail. Under the What Do You Want To Do section, check Turn It On, so it will start working right away, and uncheck the Retain Internal Exchange headers, because we're not actually connecting to Exchange in this case. Click on Next. And this section is where we will actually stop using TLS. Select the By Verifying the IP Address, and then the plus sign. Now you will enter your external IP address, not the IP address of the copier or other device. If you don't have a static IP with your internet service provider, you cannot create an SMTP relay using this method. Click OK, and then click Next. On the confirmation page, review all the settings to make sure they're correct, and then click Save. You will then be returned to the connectors page, and you will see your new connector listed. You are now ready to configure your devices using the SMTP server you copied earlier, and port number 25. You can use any email address on your domain, even addresses that don't exist. There is no password required as your IP address is being used for validation. Also, don't forget to make sure your firewall is set to allow your device outbound access on port 25. Thanks for watching.